Breaking news, a hurricane Nate making not one but two landfalls along the Gulf Coast overnight. Here's a look at what it looked like when Nate came ashore near Biloxi. With maximum winds of 85 miles an hour, this area inundated by the storm surge, the water continuing to flood nearby casinos and their parking garages. And here's the scene in downtown Mobile, this part of the city underwater. Over 100,000 people are reported to be without power this morning. Nate now lashing everything in its path with powerful winds, heavy rain, and there are concerns about possible tornadoes now as it marches north. We have team coverage beginning right here in the studio with our chief meteorologist, Rob Marciano, who is tracking the storm. Good morning, Rob. Good morning, Paul. You saw that storm surge four to six feet of it coming over Highway 90 across the Biloxi. This is the fourth, if you count it, Maria, this is the fourth U.S. landfalling hurricane in the last 45 days, happening shortly after midnight and through Biloxi. Actually, the eye coming right over Keesler Air Force Base, where, ironically, that is where the Hurricane Honor aircraft and squadron are based, so they didn't have to go too far there. Right now, it's about 100 miles west-southwest of Montgomery, Alabama, and the path of this is going to go across the Dixie Alley, across the Tennessee Valley, or the Ohio Valley, and then what's left of it actually gets up into the northeast by late tomorrow into Tuesday. With it comes some wind. Now, this is a lopsided storm. There are tropical storm force winds that extend 100 mile, about 100 miles east of it. Nothing to the west of it. So uh, Atlanta later on today could see 40 mile an hour wind gusts, so more power outages and uh, potentially some heavy rain along its path. Speaking of its path, we have tropical storm warnings that are posted through much of Alabama and just outside of Montgomery is ABC's Victor Okenda. Victor, give us a sense of what's happening where you are. Good morning, Rob. We are in the middle of it now. The strongest rain and the strongest winds that we've felt so far this morning, just north of Montgomery, right off Interstate 65. You can really see the rain coming down and the water just rushing down this hill right here behind me. Central Alabama just getting pounded by Nate's rains and winds this morning. Rainfall rates, we've got about two inches per hour here, another four to six inches of rain expected, leading to some very dangerous conditions here. We've got a flash flood watch throughout most of the area through Sunday. And another major concern, of course, with this part of the storm, tornadoes. So much of Alabama, especially the central and southern part under a tornado watch throughout the rest of the morning. Some 59,000 customers right now without power. The bulk of them, according to Alabama Power, in the Mobile area. 56,000 of those customers coming from Mobile. So right now with conditions like this, people are being told to stay inside, shelter in place, stay safe. Although Nate has weekend, it is still packing quite a punch. John, Paula? It certainly is. Uh, Victor, thanks for your reporting.